Hello, I'd like to talk to you today about maxillomandibular advancement alternatives. It's August 2nd, 2010. I'm a sleep apnea sufferer myself, and this is of great interest to me, and I think there's a lot of exciting developments going on in the sleep apnea field, and uh, I, think, I don't think they're getting enough press attention. So that's my objective here. Uh, perhaps I can save you a necessary surgery. So to begin with, uh, why would anyone have an MMA? It seems to be the most effective surgery for the treatment of obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, in terms of both sleep quality improvement and long-term persistence of benefit. It may allow the patient to completely eliminate the use of continuous positive airway pressure, CPAP machines, which provide some relief of OSA at the cost of severely annoying side effects. Some patients are unable to comply with therapy due to these annoyances. And I might add, if you look at my other videos, I have a whole video dedicated to CPAPs and their problems. So MMA may improve central apnea as well as the brain recalibrates to a normal nocturnal respiratory pattern over many months following surgery. But I have yet to see hard data on this and it is uh, a speculative assertion. So why not MMA? Uh, first of all, it's extremely expensive on the order of $80,000, including surgery and all follow-up tests. Your insurance may not fully cover you. And I might add that the price of $80,000 US dollars is just an estimate based on some of the uh, top-end places where you can get it done. I'm sure you can get it done uh, much cheaper overseas, but uh, as they say, you get what you pay for, so buyer beware. Secondly, fully recovery takes months. Full sleep improvement may take over a year due to brain recalibration. There are plenty of blogs about this if you Google for it. And it makes your chin protrude slightly. slightly. Now, if you like the tough guy look, this could actually be an improvement. I guess you could get a career in uh, cowboy movies or something. It requires several head x-rays, although MRIs might be an acceptable substitute if you fear the cancer risks of uh, x-rays. And generally, it's not for anyone over age 60. Now, simulate first. Just like a pilot that learns to fly in a simulator, uh, you might want to learn to see what the effects of MMA might be by simulating, themselves, simulating them first on yourself. So there's an inexpensive oral appliance called a VAO TSD, which prevents the tongue from blocking the airway during sleep. This serves as a crude simulation of MMA, although a real MMA would almost certainly provide better results. However, you might find this device to be so effective that you no longer need an MMA at all. Just make sure to confirm this with a sleep study. And uh, I suggest you see my other video on the Aveo TSD for details. And the website is www.aveotsd.com. Now, there's a new technology under development called hypoglossal neurostimulation. Basically, a device similar to a pacemaker, it's about the size of a cell phone battery, is implanted in the patient's chest. A wire is run up to the tongue um, internally, so there's nothing sticking out of your body. While you're asleep, the device stimulates your tongue muscles so as to prevent it from sliding into the airway. Early results from one company involved show a 50% reduction in apnea hypopnea index, which is comparable to the OVO TSD, but without the obvious annoyance of a dental appliance. Studies are ongoing we can expect the device to improve its performance in the future as doctors learn to tune its behavior on a patient-by-patient -patient basis. While minor surgery is required, it's not nearly as invasive as MMA. Surgery takes about 90 minutes with substantial recovery in about a week. Now, it doesn't change your appearance except for a small bump on your upper chest, which as I mentioned is about the size of a cell phone battery. You could tell your friends you're a cyborg. It's probably coming in the next few years uh, at first to less regulated countries. I mean, let's face it, the FDA does impose certain delays um, if you're in the U.S. and other regulatory agencies impose delays elsewhere. Um, now, if you can use existing technology for a while longer, then you might never need an MMA at all. And an MMA might be more effective, although it's still early to tell. And even if it is, the relative improvement might be too small to justify the vastly longer recovery time and higher probable cost. So get to know the companies involved, read their press releases, sign up to hear about clinical trials. Um, they're listed on the next slide, which is here. The companies are Imthera, that's I-M as in Michael, which is imtheramedical.com, Apnex Medical, which is apnexmedical.com, and Inspire Medical Systems, which is Inspire Medical Systems, with an S, dot com. All of these are involved in hypoglossal neurostimulation. Uh, however, their strategies are slightly different, and I think the most successful strategy is going to depend very heavily on the algorithm they use to deliver the neurostimulation and how much flexibility they afford 
the doctor in tuning that neurostimulation uh, to something that will help keep the patient's airway open during sleep without causing uh, other nighttime annoyances. And I might add, from what I've read, uh, in as far as daytime functions, you know, basically eating and talking and breathing, uh, those are completely unaffected because the device is off uh, when one is not asleep. But uh, read up on it and see what you think. So what about central apnea? Now intuitively, we could have a similar device which regulates respiration in response to the level of blood oxygen and carbon dioxide. Unfortunately, we're not there yet, but hopefully these companies will realize this other path to profit. Conceptually, they could integrate a, an anti-central apnea device in this uh, same device that treats obstructive sleep apnea, but uh, that's work for the future. So anyway, um, thank you for listening, and if I can save one person from unnecessary surgery, well, that would make me very happy. Good luck, and uh, make sure to discuss this with your doctor.